As one of the most influential leaders of the civil rights movement and a pivotal figure in modern American history, Martin Luther King Jr.'s face is iconized and appropriated throughout popular culture. When you think of King, what first comes to mind? Maybe you imagine him delivering one of his profound speeches overlooking a large crowd? At that moment, he likely stands tall, speaks passionately, and gestures meaningfully with his hands. This etching in Aquatint by John Woodrow Wilson offers a different, less familiar representation of King than we are used to seeing and requires us to take a second look. The iconic figure is powerfully rendered through thick, obsessive marks pushing the figure to the foreground of the picture plane to confront us. Wilson's interest in drawing is conveyed through the use of repetitive marks and strong dark lines, while his use of tonalities highlights the artist's sculptural awareness. Wilson draws us to King's darkly shaded head, which contrasts with the rest of the unadorned image. His slightly tilted head and deep blackened eyes force us, the viewer, to decipher King's expression. What emotions does he evoke? Perhaps you see sadness, exhaustion, patience, reflection, or tranquility, all human emotions we may not normally associate with the civil rights leader. With his familiar features less delineated and his body oversimplified, why might Wilson want us to view King in this way? Wilson, an African-American lithographer, sculptor, and painter, portrayed Martin Luther King recurrently throughout his career. This lithograph is based on studies Wilson drew for a memorial that Congress commissioned for the U.S. Capitol building in 1985. An artist search for the commission was conducted by a panel of advisors, one of whom was Mrs. Coretta Scott King. She played a crucial role in advising on, quote, the salient qualities of King's character and physical expression, which the panel should consider in evaluating the qualifications of the competitors." End quote. Wilson was selected out of 200 interested artists and his bronze bust of King became the first representation of an African-American in the Capitol Rotunda. He told the Boston Globe, quote, it alienated me. I never felt part of it, but when I delivered the sculpture, that changed. I felt a piece of me is in that building." End quote. Wilson was born in Roxbury, Massachusetts in 1922. Both of his parents emigrated to the U.S. from Guyana. As an adolescent during the Great Depression, Wilson was very aware of social themes and racial inequalities that surrounded him. His interest in these themes grew as he pursued his art career into the mid 20th century, when he felt more motivated by the vulnerability of his social position as a black artist. This motivation led him to integrate his creativity with his passion for politics and social justice. His personal experiences and travels worldwide reinforced his charge to advance social goals with his art. Wilson took inspiration from King's efforts in the fight against racism to create art that has the potential to transform us. <laughs>